Hello everyone, my name is Steve Steve and today we are playing Kingdoms of Amulula Reckoning. Um, I don't think I pronounced that right, but we'll flow with it, okay? So, it's the demo. Um, I've pre-ordered the game, I pre-ordered the game prior to playing the demo because I'm committed to stuff like that and I'm rather stupid as well. Um, but that's a different note. Today, like Anne said, I'm playing it, but I've already played this bit, so if you, if I find it repetitive and I don't really speak much, it's because I'm not very shocked at some of the things I see. So today, I skipped cinematic of the story because I believe cinematics are very, very special to the game. But today we will, and now, not today, because today is different to your days, we will listen to it. What do you think this one is then? I will be Our quiet until this is line? finished. Could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? I will also I sketch, because it is part of my course. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. Dead, dead. That, all we've seen. <laughs> Go on and pull that machine, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Ow. Alright, this is character creation. I won't be doing much of this, but this is pretty much character creation. You can pause it. I'll go down it, and you can see what type of people they are. These two, however, are male. They're humans. They are men, and these are mer or elves. So I usually play this one, the one I've highlighted now. I'm pointing at my screen. You do realise that because I'm a tard. But I usually play as the d dog Cacknil Felfar. Not these three. Anyway, we'll play as this anyway. Let's go. And these are the gods you choose. Uh, I choose fate. However, you choose wisdom, which will give you a 10 plus mana, 10% uh, bonus of mana. Love, 5% health and 1% per chance, uh, percent chance to critical hit. Death is nasty. Um, fate, which is the one I like, and mischief, which is the god of the god of mischief, and patron of brewing. But we will choose fate. Or you can choose none, but you do get 1% experience bonus. But fate is my name. And you choose a preset. And the character creation's not that bad. I really do like it. However, um, we will choose preset 1. And there's a lot of stuff you can do towards your character customization. But it doesn't really bother me as long as I'm not playing it. When I'm when I'm actually gonna play it, then I will make it properly. But right now, we will just leave it like this. Confirm. Oh, I was gonna put a handlebar mustache on him. Doesn't matter. I'll uh, let you see this anyway. But you know, I have a tash. Yeah, amazing. I'm just mm. glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this mm. one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. <laughs> Put him with the others is an understatement. I will tell you. Now, we are given a name, and it will be Steef. Not Streef, Steef. La Stifla. That name will become legend and will also be remembered. Children will be named after me, and wives will beg to be by my side and in my bed. So here we are. Here we are. Lovely understatement of the others. As if there was only a few. See, there's a hand, and there's a, uh, there's a live person, and there's a head, and a foot. Two feet. Feet. There is feet. Oh, I would not like to be in his position. Gonna be sick? You gonna be sick? You, you're not gonna be sick. Um, what worries me more is the background. It seems to be like a, res a reservoir under the ground, and um, 
that must feed and water and nourish people. So you know, um, I, I don't. I, oh, sorry, that's geography coming into uh, play. Are these ruins? I think these are ruins. I wouldn't know. Okay, let's um, let's just quickly do this. This is your inventory kind of thing. You can do all your stuff that'll come in later. But right now, I want to choose the camera sensitivity because it's a little bit upped been upped a little bit and it's normally not like this in fact it's quite let's just let's just loot do this right this is basically talking about an incinerator you could have paused the video back there but I read quite fast even though I am dyslexic as I'm so wonderfully reminded every day let's go and the incinerators over there they basically burn bodies as you can see, I can pull this lever, and down, down, down you go. Flop. Flop. Oh, I'd say that. Thank you. This is where you equip your things. as armor, accessories. I, I don't really know what half of the stuff is, apart from how to equip it, which you've got to right-click and equip. Uh, that's how much damage it does. Sorry, yes, it does. That's gathered damage, and that's how... As you can read, uh, it's condition, whether it's full condition or half condition or bad condition. If the frame rate drops a little bit here, it's not my fault. It's my PCs. There we are, as I said. And an Irish elf is attacking gnomes. Oh, also, my opinion and my... My, uh advice is to always smash barrels you will get a lot of good stuff oh dear me rat attack me. Uh, this game comes out on Xbox PS3 and PC so you if you if you've got a console you know, you're not gonna be left behind also if you pre-order and you play the demo you get Mass Effect 3 in-game stuff so that's good and I do I will be playing Mass Effect when it comes out Mass Effect 3 Oh, okay, I will help. Okay, this is where the nitty gritty stuff comes in. Here we are. Okay, there's a. The, the Tuatha. Tuatha. D, what does D do? Alright. Uh, the camera will move weirdly in random. Oh, he's alive. Just attack him there. Sorry. It will move weirdly, and it will zoom you out, zoom you in. It, it's it, it's very stupid. But what can you do? All right, let's search him. Do a quick F on him. Um, not an F. Mm. Just press F. I'll skip these things because this is actually story related, and I don't want to give away the story as much. But there's something called the Well of Souls, and you come out of the Well of Souls. Alright, let's go. I need to search these people. Because that is what a proper RPG person does. He searches people's remains. And equips their damaged armor. Right. Right this way. That 35 gold will come in handy, I can tell you that. Right. Because I like wearing old boots. Alright, let's go. Control, if you're playing on Xbox, uh, PC does mean shift. Uh, sh <laughs> give me second. It means sprint, you can sprint. And this is actually the Well of Souls. Built by the moon. It's small looking people. But it is being destroyed. Nice. Um, it's, there's nothing really I can talk about much about this game, then um, until I get into the nitty gritty stuff. Right. Oh dear. Get a shield, yes. I remember that. You need to get a shield. Uh, I don't really know much about 
the law in this game. However, it is steeped in 10,000 years of history, so uh, I'll explain some of this stuff when I actually get out of the, the danger zone. As in fighting the Tuatha. The combat's quite a lot. If you compare it to Fable, which it has been compared to, it is a lot faster. You can do a lot more stuff later on in the game. Um, and you get a bow and arrow as well, which is cool. So let's equip this bow. Right. And we'll equip the we'll equip some stuff. And I'm dis I've disappeared. <laughs> okay, cool. That's not, that's never bad. Um, as I said about the law, the law is it's steeped in ten thousand years of fiction, and it's been written by R. A. Salvador, Salvatore, which is some big shot New York Times writer. So uh, yeah, if you into law, which I am, you'll enjoy it. Dear me. Good job there. Um, arrows do regenerate. It takes a little bit of time, as you saw there, but they do. It's not you don't have to collect them. Um, always locks onto position. Oh dear. Oh. Ah yeah. You will find bows are a little bit overpowered at the start of the game, but it does kind of dwindle their strength. Um, this part's really good, um, I have acquired daggers, I can now use daggers, however, I won't use, uh, as my main weapon, I will use it as a secondary weapon, so it means you can use daggers and a sword, you can use two sets of daggers, or you can use whatever, uh, it's C to do stealthy mode, I believe, is it not, I think it is, C or V or what, uh, do stealthy mode, Stealth mode. Just come on, do stealth mode. What is stealth mode? S it's C. Yeah, I knew it was. Okay. <laughs> I like this little bear kind of cinematic thing. It well, not cinematic. Stealth thing it does. Then it. Curious. There's no way to take two of them out at the same time, which is a bit of a bummer, but, uh, what can you do? Ooh, nasty. Oh dear, this, the, as I said before, it does zoom out and then zoom back in. It's, it's a little bit funny. It's actually tricky sometimes to fight when it's like that, but you, c you can't really change the camera. I've looked through the options menu before. I know, you daft little elf thing. Let's go. Let's go. Cave blossoms and respond in the presence of magic. Okay. Oh. Okay, I understand. What am I? I'm a human. Or an elf. What power! Save your magic for when you need it. <laughs> Sorry. It's my magic, I'll do what the hell I want with it. Right. So Um it's if you have some understanding of it of games like this, you will realise magic is channeled better when you wear robes. So I will wear a torn robe, as you can see, compared to that, that's for melee people, that's for kind of rogue type people who want to sneak up behind, and this is for magic. I need to wear gloves though, oh, I've equipped them, doesn't matter. And equip, when you get things such as items, it's not a case of how much it weighs which will hold you down, or over encumber you it is a case of how many items you can carry it's a lot it's a lot like torchlight um in that respect aspect and uh i don't mind that torchlight was a good game still is haven't played it in a while 
And again, this comes out in a week. I'm not going to be playing much else apart from this. And Skyrim, but I haven't played Skyrim in a while, actually. And I found out the problem with recording I've had. Uh, it's the fact that hard drive keeps breaking and it's taken ages to fix. And I just ended up getting a new one because I couldn't be bothered. So there. That was a very long-winded uh, thingy, but it paid off in the end. What's that? Doesn't matter. Oh dear me. Oh, it's a spider. What an ugly fucker. I mean, uh, thing. So, spiders are vulnerable to electricity. And I received a stave. A stave. Alright. We'll equip it as primary. Equip. Um. They have completely covered the tunnel. I will burn a path through. Okay. Um, some magics do actually take away. Some staves do take away magic on mana, but these ones don't. I think it's more battle staves or whatever they are. It doesn't really matter. I like the daggers, so because you can still use your magic ah, as well. But, um, the staff isn't as effective. Oh, brilliant. I'll take that and that. And these, pff, no, that's, I'm fine with them. They are not needed. Old shoes. I'm now wearing flip flops. Alright. Ha! Huh. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. It's spiders. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh, no. Sorry, my mistake. S this stuff actually is much better at killing spiders than I thought. Mm. I was sadly mistaken. Hurry, get out of here. He just repeats. He just says profanity. And this, this gnome is rather nasty. Alright, let's go. No, I'm not one of them. I'll just, I'll just carry on ahead of these people because it takes ages for them, and you can see the air. Uh, you can see what they're saying anyway, so it doesn't matter. Where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armor. Already did. We might have a few things that would fit you. Already did. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. The Tawatha. The Tawatha. He's directly ahead. He needs to see. I'll see you on the outside. If fate wills it. Fate does will will it. I believe. I'm not too sure. However, I do not know. Here's the remaining bit of the well. Ah, wait. If you don't want to see the Well of Souls, which will technically kind of ruin the game. I don't know if it will, but if you don't want to see it, then look away now. Just warning you. Okay, so here's the Well of Souls. Beautiful. Who wants to take a swim? Right. Okay. Take. I'll take it. Oh, oh. You can hear the dead people just screaming away. Speaking of which, I did get some stuff, didn't I? Torn robes. I'll just leave it like that. Doesn't bother us. Um. Okay, yeah. Everything's okay. What about weapons? I got weapons. Yeah, I knew I did. But that's alright. I'll just leave it like this. I like my weapon combos. It's quite good. Uh, this is Professor Hughes. Let's go talk to him. See what he has to say. Explain himself. Sorry, I'll just move the mouse off your face. Even with all you've been 
came through. The Tuatha, your return from the dead? Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. Yes, I am. I am Pomerus Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. The realm of souls. The pursuit of immortality. And you... I, even though I'm alive, I look deathly. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Honestly, I think you can do this yourself. I don't want to take up so much time. And it's kind of... It's up to you. I've already listened to it all, so I know what I'm Wait, going to... Oh, sorry, I was meant to talk to you and no carry on with the quest. Sorry. This just gives you the lowdown on what... But I can ensure that it's only success. Yes, yes, yeah, no, him, I, yeah, I, I whatever. Notes, it's it, this is your option. If you want to do it, you can do it. I've already listened to it, though. Fascinating. Here's the little cutscene cinematic. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... As I was saying, I'm not sure what. <laughs> oh dear me! This this guy is quite cool, though. He is he is very cool. He's not just some poncy bastard with a nice little cape on. How cool! Ah, look at me! I'll just chop you in the knob. <laughs> right, there we are. Let's let's get this done. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's a go go. So now we know where we are. Left control, toggle sprint. Oh, toggles it. To Arthur Soldier. Let's just attack him with daggers. Uh, daggers seem to do a little bit more damage. Whoop! Whoop! I'll take this. Everything comes in handy. And everything does cost a lot of money on this game, I will tell you that. Um, but it's. Uh, you'll find out for yourself. If you do get the game. to search him. Thank you for that brilliant bit of potion. They have a cave troll. Oh dear. Now, how did I fight this thing again? I, uh, yes, I avoided that. It's a rock troll, not a cave troll. Oh dear, run. Oh, oh. Oh god, not this again. Right. Which is it? It's, uh. How do I use consumables? That would be good. Consumables. It's number 8 and number 5. I said I'll just use it. Right, number 8 and number 5. Oh dear. Okay. You're dead and you will follow Rock Troll. Oh, do you? Oh, God, what's, what's up with it? Hey. Oh, I'm just getting absolutely thwapped by this thing here. Uh, you! Oh, you are kidding me. Ah, oh, to use healing potions, that's good. Um, I'm getting the hang of it again. I was, I was, I take that back. It's, it's, it's E. That's it. Oh, dear me. Oh, nice face. You are ugly, man. Fuck it. Alright. So magic seems to be less effective than I, th oh, dear me. What's, what's going on? Let's cut your ugly face. Good job. Oh, dear. Wah! 
Oh. Bro, I'm gonna kill you anyway. You're not gonna deny me this. What's up, bitch? Look at this. I'm gonna attack you. I'm gonna cut your face up. F. Right. Oh. This is where I utilize fate. And stab a sword in his mug. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Whew, that was that was a fight of my life. Or well, my second life. Oh, I don't know. Escape, let's level up. This is where you level up. Um I still don't really get how you upgrade ma uh, magic solely. But this is basically skills. So blacksmithing, you can pause it if you want and have a little look. Stealth, sagecraft. Pause it now if you want, but I'll, I already know some of the stuff. Hmm. I can tell you that there's two types of lockpicking. It's lockpicking generally with lockpicks and there's dispelling, which is taking spells off chests and stuff. Right now, I'm going to choose stealth and confirm it. This is all oh right. This is where you choose sorcery finesse. Finesse is kind of like rogues. Might is well swords, and sorcery is the general coolness. No, we'll do two on that, and finesse we will do that. Yep, let's go. Brilliant. Right, let's uh, let's equip the squire's ring. Yes, that. Imbued it with magic. So I now have plus five percent health. Is that glass sword? It looks like a glass sword from Skyrim. I told them they saw your fate in there. We could have used more. They really have a troll. I'll say it was Not no problem. You maybe. I lost good soldiers in there. They were battle hardened and wheeling. How could you do better than they were just rags and rubbish? Um, I'll leave the rest for now. Um, just purely just to carry on with the quests. There's some stuff in there, and there's some stuff over there. Not as much over there as there's much over there, but hey, yo, you can do what you want. And that's pretty much the start of it. I'll um. I'll leave it for now, and I'll come back in a bit. But, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you recommend us to the friends of yours, would appreciate it. Or oh, I would. I do a, this channel with my friend. He's my partner. Um, and we'll make videos and stuff. Check us out if you want. But this is the... This is the... Oh, hang on. We need to help this man. This is Kingdoms of Amular... The Reckoning Demo Part 1. If you enjoyed it, stay tuned for Part 2. But I've just stabbed a bear in the arse. Bye-bye.